Effective December 2026, the federal government will discontinue budgetary allocations to professional bodies and councils. We shall be taking a look at what this is all about this morning on The Breakfast. We we'll also take a look at the front pages of some national dailies with an analyst joining us to dissect them piece by piece. Good morning and welcome to the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. It's the Entrepreneurial Thursday edition. I am Maureen Menon Wizigui. Top trending this morning, President Tinubu introduces 1,000 Naira annual vehicle proof of ownership fee. Well, that's one of our top trending this morning on the breakfast. The new levy was introduced by the Federal Government Joint Tax Board, according to the Lagos State Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Transportation, Engineer Abdul Hafiz Toriola. The proof of ownership certificate will serve as valid proof that a vehicle is legally owned by the registered individual or entity and will contain vital information such as license plate number, model, and year of manufacture, in addition to the owner's name and address. He added that the document will be issued at the point of renewing vehicle particulars at a minimum fee of 1,000 Naira only. Now, the introduction of the levy has widely drawn criticism from Nigerians who see it as a further means of putting more burden on the people and causing them untold hardship. Well, according to the latest data from the National Bureau of Statistics, there are at least 11.8 million vehicles driven on Nigerian roads, which would thus generate 11.8 billion Naira for the federal government annually. So now this is something that Nigerians are saying, come on, you're already making us tighten our belt. How much more should we tighten our belts? You're asking us to sacrifice. Are we the only ones that should be sacrificing? Um, so that's it. It's, it's out there. Nigerians will be paying 1,000 Naira to prove that they are the owners of the vehicles that they already have proof of ownership certificate for. Well, digest that. Well, second hot topic, second top trending, is on Governor Deleke's orders to arrest the Ashwaju of Muslimi of Yoruba land um, and others that took place at the Oshobo Eid ground with some resistance as armed soldiers executed the arrest order. Uh, different uh, reports come in as to why this happened. Some said that uh, there is an attempt on the governor's life. Another says that um, uh, there was an issue of seat you know they were dragging where to sit at the mosque yesterday and and so um at some point the governor felt embarrassed by the conduct of uh, the person he had asked them to uh, to arrest ashwaji muslimi of yoruba land and um sent his people to arrest him for disrespecting him so there are two views to this two news two stories two sides to this story threat to the governor's life, tussle over a sitting position in the mosque. Not a good story, not a good thing to come out. These are men of high standing and some level of uh, decorum sh should be uh, displayed when these people are in public places and when they relate with one another. All right, so that's the much you can take on top trending. We'll be going forward now to give you the weather report and come back to look at the front pages of the national dailies this morning. We have Ezekiel Alanya, a public affairs analyst, who will be joining us from Akwaibom as our analyst this morning. Stay with us. <music> 